Okay, we're going in on the casual chess player's answer to chess for this month. So we'll start with three minute game. Let's push through the center. As we do, let's attack the pawn and let's push through the center hitting the pawn here. So simple direct moves to remove pieces from the board strategically. Um, under the word strategically is a lot of uh, concepts which basically underline the fact of keeping your king safe, attacking key spaces, key pieces, attacking the opponent's king or areas around the king, and keeping it simple and not being too arty. And from lessons learned from the recent tournament, it's about also not over respecting the opponent's position on the board and not under not under representing our own position okay so there's a lot of dancing going on here so we're going to attack the knight keep it nice and simple still looking at our position so we go position checks captures threats support blocking then back to position again so I'm going to attack the king just to give some space. Obviously the bishop is coming back and we can take. So the king or the pawn is going to be in the center. So we can win a momentary tempo, trying to put some pressure onto this bishop, which the rook will come and support. Key thing is rooks owning the key files or uh, open files. We could attack the bishop, but it doubles the pawns. We may end up doubling anyway, but we will just support. And let's bring the rook here, looking to own the file. Key thing for the rooks. King's probably going to move out of the way because it wants the rook to actually start attacking here. So do they lose a bit of tempi doing that? Interesting. So we can bring our bishop out a little bit. They are a little bit of a flicker, I notice. So if we bring the bishop out a bit, we're wanting to put a check on the king, but the king looks like it's going to um, just stay safely here. Could move our king, could move a pawn. Time is running out, so we will develop the bishop, looking to attack the king. And the king, like we said, has gone here. If we do get to here, we would be able to put a check on the king. And we can take the rook off the board, so it could be a draw. It could be a draw because um, equal pawns and um, bishops could attack the burn pawn, but the pawns is going to drop, but it does block their own bishop in. But for now, I think we're just going to develop the king and see if we can get the king into the center. So they're looking, probably looking to come here. So shall we just push this pawn to kind of stop that? Again, let's move our king, baiting the pawn down. So it kind of locks that down a little bit. Could move it onto a white square. I think the bishop is going to be looking to trade off. And let's... A uh, bit dodgy being on dark squares, but the answer is going to be given to us in a few moments. And now what they're wanting us to do is take, and then the bishop can take the pawn here. What do we want to do? We're running out of time, so let's just bullet it out now. Let's move the king. King can't attack it yet. Probably brings this pawn here, so his king can come and attack this pawn. Probably looking to bring the bishop here, defending. Now we can't do that just yet, so we can move the king here, supporting. So his bishop's on the wrong side of the board, as far as I can see. Um, if we can just bring this here, and maybe just sit the bishop here. So they're using that time factor well for themselves. Because we're on 30 seconds, so they've got plenty of time. And we're running out of time with 30 seconds. Okay, so it could be a zug swaggy type thing, but we do have movement with the bishop. Attacking the pawn per se. They might be thinking of here, here. 
So they've got a 2 on 1. Attack. Yes, they are going there. They're going there for the 2 on 1. So we'll take this. They'll take with a check. We move down. Trying to chase this pawn, make some space. No, that's not happening. So we can move the king back up again. 18 seconds. And move the bishop, put in a check on. And move the bishop again. And move the bishop again. Oh, I could have attacked the pawn. Ah, oh, missed opportunity. And let's attack the pawn. Let's take. Comes and defends. Eight seconds. It's not doable to even hold a draw. Puts the check on, move down. Seven seconds, bit tight. They're looking for a win. Let's take, let's push. Let's take, take. These pawns are flat. Oh no, I'm not making it in time. It's a draw. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's the casual chess guy's answer to chess and formation. Looks okay, it's winning, but as we know, we've done the recent um, video on the illusion of winning a game or gaining advantages in a game. Uh, comfortable with this um, petering out to be a draw. Um, we, got into, we put ourselves in some sort of complications in the game in terms of slowing down our thought processes. So let's jump in on to the next one and the casual chess guys answer to chess. Let's go. And as you can see, it's not about doing some flowery winning type things. It's about trying to enjoy the games even more. So that's my answer to chess, being able to enjoy the games a little bit better. So we're going to attack the queen, support from the bishop, attack the queen with the queen, take with the bishop get the knight out so we've got to keep that speed up um, as well but it's not bullet we do have a moment to castle and let's just support the pawn looks like there's a lot of attack activity going on shall we attack their rook baiting the pawn let's attack the uh, bishop let's take it off the board no it's not having any of that all right so we can just take And let's just bring the bishop here. So it looks like a funny looking position. Could bring the bishop here. This bishop moves, he wants to get, okay, let's hit this. And he's not really trapping us per se. I'm just going to hit this pawn, head of the snake. Stick with the mantra. And this bishop doesn't have any support at the minute. So we're going to go here with the king. Got to be mindful, they do have an x-ray through. This pawn's blocked at the moment. Does capture, let's capture with the bishop. Do have a diagonal through. Could look to do the trades. Let's do, look to do the trades. The king is protecting the um, bishop and the pawn is as well. And let's take, just to open it up a little bit. And let's take this with a check on the king. Let's attack, probably not going to. Oh, it does do. Okay, let's capture. Uh, so time-wise, we're not doing too bad, but we can't get our king out of this little trapped area that we're in. <laughs> Let's just try and hit this bishop. Let's hit the bishop. Where's he going? He's going for a trade. Our king is trapped, so I don't think I want to be trading down, really. So I'm going to go here with the bishop, attacking the pawn. And let's take... And let's... Shall we lock ourselves in again, or is he just going to go for the trade? Our king now has a bit of momentum. Oh, we've just given up a pawn. Let's attack this pawn. Let's come around and attack this pawn. King comes down to defend. Doesn't come down to defend. Let's take. What's oh, he's seen this spot, hasn't he? Let's come here. 
defending that area. 146. Ooh, ah, but he's blocked his king, but his king can't. Oh, his king can come for this pawn. Oh, let's hit the king. It's coming for this pawn, so we can defend. It's got to be hitting our king, hasn't it? Um, let's move the king. Don't think we're in the best shape. Let's see. Trying to do, could just start pushing this pawn down. Can't do much to stop that, really. Uh, let's hit the bishop. It's going to hit our king. And then we lose the damn pawn. Ah, oh, come on. Think, dude. Think before you move. Go here. Take. So winning by the seconds. Uh, let's push the pawn. Let's push the pawn. And what's he thinking of doing? Let's go here. We're winning by the seconds again, the illusion. He's coming down. Oh, dude. Ah. We've lost all them pawns. Ah, oh, man. King's not going to get over there in time at all. Just block him off. Get my well, can't block him off, can I? I can't block him off. Eight seconds. Draw again. Yeah, the illusion of winning some type of advantage. So that's two draws um, as the casual chess players answer to chess. So we keep on going with the casual chess guys answer to chess. Going to the next one. The long pause could be a positive for us, could be a negative. Looking towards the end game, doubling the pawns can't be that wrong. Smallest of details, but sometimes it can be quite crucial. And I think it's time to be taking the rook off the board. Just bring the king across and up. Okay. Now we'll take a look at the doubled pawn situation. Could be a draw this really though, still. Because we can't get past. And let's just keep pushing. Just block it down because we can't get past really. We'd have to get the king 
chaperoning them up and uh, let's just keep pushing I think it might be a Zugzwang situation they look more forward than us let's just take it's coming down here not sure let's go here maybe a draw hmm maybe let's take do 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 If we hit takes, we take, then it comes past. So that's the benefit of having a double pawn situation. So why don't we just push the pawn up? He has to make a decision. Does his king go backwards? Doesn't really want to go backwards. Let's push up. Issue we've got is that he's going to go running across the other side of the board and get in these pawns. As if we push this up, but I'm sure he can't risk going across because we'll just go up and take this pawn. So it's going to be a draw, it looks like to me. A circular repetition. Yeah, it's going to flash up anytime soon. So it's knowing when a position is a pot potentially a draw. I don't think I could have broken through with the pawns as they were. So I think it was the right decision. Threefold repetition. That'll work for me. Let's push in the center. It is a quick game. It's blitz, you know, it's fast. So let's just crack on, focus. Try and hit the key squares, key pieces. Talking doesn't really help either. So if I focus and concentrate, I might be able to do it a little bit better. Let's attack this bishop. Let's attack the bishop again. Let's attack the bishop again. Let's take the bishop, excuse me. Take the bishop off the board. Rook's wanting a bit of action. Get the queen in. Let's take. Knight comes in for a bit of action. No, it doesn't. Let's uh, get this rook. Because it the king. And. I think that. Let's go here. Oh. Ah. That was a bit of a slip there, dudes. I think I might have to stop. That was a bit of a slip. Yeah, we don't stand any chances there. Okay, that was a bit of a slip. Right, go on to the next one. Accidents do happen in the fast games, definitely. Let's go here. And let's take this knight. Could be a set play thing. Oh, they've made a slip as well. All right then. So <laughs> even Stevens on the slippage is there. Right, let's crack on with the casual chess guys answer to chess. It ain't perfect, but it ain't the worst set of games either. Let's take, let's take, get the 20 pointer. Let's develop the bishop out, attacking the pawn. Castle. And let's get the dark square bishop out. It making space for attacks on the king let's take the knight off the board stop the castling get the knight up let's f get this rook here getting ready to double and let's get ready to double with the rooks and let's just double knight's looking activated wanted to come here but it can't uh, they saw that what do we have next? Overthinking, overthinking. Let's just push this pawn. Looks like he's going to be taking our... 
let's just move this it's not going for it yeah he's attacking the knight behind the knight is the pawn yeah they protected that key square that was really crucial for us now we're just having to oh i don't think we can do much losing time losing lots of time it's opening space here we can maybe take advantage of that and what was that that was not the right thing let's go because that bishop was protecting that key square let's take this pawn I'm going to take the knight our knight wanted this juicy square but this knight is holding court there as well so they messed everything up for us and let's attack the bishop could have swung it up there So it's blocking, it's attack, and let's bring the rook here. Now it's protecting, but I think they'll just come with the rook here. Time is running out. Yeah, the messed up our starting position. We had a nice position ready to put squish on the king. Yeah, they're doing exactly what we just said there. So I'm going to take the pawn on the knight. And let's take... Knight moves here, doesn't move there. Take with a check and they've resigned. Excellent, nice one. So eventually we gained a bit of an advantage from the position, but their clever knight was blocking that area. The bishop was blocking the area we wanted. We really wanted this foul with the rooks and it just got nullified. But we built up the pressure with position play at the end of the day. Okay, we'll crack on with the casual chess guys answer to chess. Let's go. Oh, we said we were going to be playing longer games as well. We've been just playing quick games at the minute. So we'll bump it up after this one. Let's bring the knight up. Let's get the knight in. Shall we get the bishop? So they've moved that knight twice. So hopefully they've lost a bit of tempo developing. I'm going to take the knight. And let's just develop the bishop. Shall we castle? Yes, let's castle. Don't think too much. Are they going to take? Don't think they're going to take, but we'll do a preempt. Try and win some time back. Uh, oh, can't do that just yet. Let's hit the bishop. Is it taking or what? What are you doing? Yes, it's taking. All right, so bring the rook opposite the queen. That's given a big pause. Let's hit the palm. Lots of pauses, giving them things to think about. That's good. Let's get that time down. And shall we take or shall we push? I'm going to push onto the queen. We've got enough pieces supporting. Smaller piece attacking. What's the position looking like? This pawn looks like it's going to be attacked. Yes, exactly as we just said. Bring the queen here, supporting. Don't like the rook being opposite our queen. So I'm not really favouring this position for our queen at all. All right, so we don't have anything to attack per se. We could attack here, running out of time. Going to have to just bring the knight in potentially give attacking the queen something we don't have much time they're running out of time but they're focusing out there and see the focusing on squishing our king area let's get this um knight attacking the queen is there any magic anywhere towards their king there's no fits i can't see any fits in there so it just comes back again right okay and let's go let's go let's go it's got two pieces on there let's get the queen opposite there queen definitely no positions whatsoever for us to play with just trying to block off what it looks like they're trying to attempt they're just playing lazy man's chest at the minute just pushing the pawns down bishop's looking maybe to come here at so yeah they're just doing lazy man's chest so Quick, 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 quick. Let's get the knight back. Again, potentially looking to harass the queen. So key thing, you know, attacking key squares, key pieces, that type of thing. 
Queen's a key piece. Jump in here with the support of the knight, put a check on the king. And he's moved it out of the way, so put a check on the king. While we're thinking their time is running out, which is good. Can we squish it any further? Let's attack the bishop. Just to do something. It's giving them things to think about. He's still wanting to keep pushing these pawns down. Let's take... So we're on the pawn, but we don't have any meat. This is protected by the queen. So it looks like we're just jumping back again with the knight here. Maybe then putting a 2 on 1 on the pawn. So just jumping back again. The rook can sacrifice itself. Get the queen here attacking. Oh, it does do as well. Okay, let's attack the queen. They've got six seconds. Let's not fluff it. And let's take it easy. Let's just support first. Excellent. All right, so we'll go on and play some longer play games. Just take a break and we'll come back with the casual chess guys answer to chess.